there might be people in here who are quite interested in assessment, um, how you can use that approach in assessment. And um, some of you may have heard of uh, Professor Paul Kim at Stanford. He came up with a kind of inquiry-based assessment, uh, assessment system actually before generative AI exploded, and he saw it coming because he's an AI specialist. Um, and basically his rationale for the system was, you know what guys, you're not going to answer any question, but you're going to ask it. And you're going to ask it working together. And we're going to rate you on, work, on the level and the sophistication of the question you've asked. And guess what? When we're prompting these engines, or these, uh, these agents rather, um, what's happening here? The more sophisticated you get into, into your questioning and the deeper you go into the questioning, the more you get out of your chat GPT or your Bing or whichever, whichever um, um, agent you're using. And he was ahead of the game and it obviously was pretty much a research project. He actually launched it in Africa and in a number of developing nations to kind of flip the concept of assessment. And I think that is something we really need to start thinking about, is, you know, it's sort of a, the whole knowledge game, right, in, in, this, in this space. What does knowledge actually still mean? And why are we still hammering on a purely knowledge-based curriculum, especially in schools and university, I would say, um, that doesn't take into account that there's actually much more to kind of um, the skills that you need to thrive in the world and, and to engage with people, but also to engage in dialogue and communication and, and constructive thinking, uh, than just regurgitating and swatting for your GCSEs, which is the worst thing you can possibly have to do. Um, and for me, that's an interesting flip in terms of, you know, how do we assess people and how do we kind of um, ensure the learning transfer is actually happening, going back to the learning science and stuff, and, 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 and Vygotsky and, 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 and Vaccine. Um, so this is, for me, one of the most, where it will change everything. And I think education needs to start looking, rather than saying, oh, everybody will cheat for their papers. I mean, that is just the worst thing you can possibly say as an institution about your students and your learners, is you guys, uh, this, this is now here and you're just all going to cheat. Um, this is terrible. This is, you know, this shows that maybe we need more imagination in the institution to kind of look at where this is going. So, um, 